Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, I am still working on my Arnie and Carlos Christmas Stocking 2023 advent stocking my first time ever doing a norwegian style large christmas stocking i've never done one i've looked at them to me i thought they would look maybe intimidating or so you know i mean it's just excuses right i mean we know how that works and then this advent calendar came along and I completely ignored it. My friend was doing it and she kept telling me about it and I kept ignoring her. I'm just saying I had enough stuff. I just didn't want to. And uh, then I got bitten. It's just how that works. So I started it later than everybody else because I didn't start it on the first, you know, when my friend was saying, hey, I'm doing this. Want to join me? Nope. Uh -uh, nope. I don't want to make a stocking. You do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should have just joined her. I just whatever. So I'm behind. And because I'm behind, I'm trying to do two a day, right? And uh, I figured that's enough. The, oh, the pattern is um, 72 stitches round. Easy, right? Um, and uh, you're only doing six rounds a day. Okay, that's a small chunk. I can, I can keep up with that. So I've committed to doing, you know, two days worth until I catch up. And then, of course, it's just the one a day. And this is it. I don't know what it looks like yet, of course, but just to show you on that for anyone who's new here. So each one of those lines represents a different day. The heel is day eight and nine, and then it goes on up. Got it. So you start off with that. So I am all the way up to day 10. Yeah, I know. So I just made it past the heel. And yesterday when I was talking about it, I was on the heel. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Do you see how huge that is? Look at how huge and how glorious. Oh, losing battery. That's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. But look at that. Look at the, how gorgeous that is. So I have made it past the heel, completed my heel, and one whole day's worth of color work after that. Yeah. Okay. So now I have some confessions to make. I didn't just do two days today. I did three. You want to know why? Because yesterday after I did mine and I was talking about how I had my double pointed needles and it's a little bit dangerous, you know, on this and not, not like going to hurt yourself and bleed or anything dangerous, but you're going to lose your stitches and want to want to stab somebody dangerous, right? You know, I mean, there. So this heel to me, I've done it before making actual socks, right? Because this is, you know, 72 stitches around. I, you just do it on size ones with fingering weight and you got a real sock. So not a problem. But I've made this type of heel before. And it doesn't register in my brain. It's, I don't know. I do the heel flap and gusset. That's just the way that I've always done it. And I've done this one and I follow the pattern before. And when I do it right, it looks fine. But I get off count. And, and I was thinking that, you know, even on the increase. I do pretty good on the increase, that part right there. And it's that decrease doing the, mm, you know, like half the heel looks good and the other half is wonky. That's why I did it twice. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did. And, and I just, you know, when it talks about that, it's like, hey, get to the point, get to that gap and everything. And, you know, you either you're knitting two together, you're purling two together and they have you pick up a stitch. And it just didn't make a lot of sense to me. And then I got going with it. And I think, um, I got off on one of them. I'm going to do a little surgery. I'm just, I, I, you know, I pulled the whole heel out and then redid this part and then put this on because it just, it, yeah, I messed it up. It's, I did it. And you can see I gave in. I got my circulars. I, it's the smart move. It just, it is the smart move. So they're just going to stay on circulars. So what I did, it, and, and it's not that the instructions are wrong. That's not what I'm getting at. It's me is not quite getting it. So on, on one of them, I had, um, you know, instead of doing the knit two together, I thought I knew what I was doing. I think I did three together or something. So at the end, I didn't quite have enough. That was on me. I didn't want to pull it back out again. So you can see here, I'm, I'm showing my flaws, man. I'm, I'm showing all of it, right? So you can see right here, I've got this, you know, a little bit of a space. That's okay. I'm going to take a little bit of that green yarn and I'm going to kind of stitch it up, do a little surgery on it. It'll be fine. No one will notice. So I keep saying, and they keep telling myself, I'll be good. Uh, so that side is a little bit, you know, more of the hole right there in the way that I did that. This side looks pretty good. See, got my thumb right there. So, you know, that side's pretty good. The heel is great. 
I do like this. To do this type of a heel on a, on a regular sock with your fingering weight yarn, you can really use your reinforcing thread. I normally do the heel flap and gusset, and that doesn't really work out too well. You know, I mean, it's really thick. So when you want to use those contrasting and stuff like that, this heel's pretty nice, and, and it has a pretty good fit to it. I mean, we're not putting this on a, on a human, okay? We're not saying that. But it's the same construction as your normal sock. Um, so I had the issues. It was me. Totally me. Yeah. So what do you think? I wasn't about to do it again. So that's, I mean, you can see I'm stretching to, so you can see that. I'm showing you all my flaws. But I can I can thread that green in there. What do you think? I can thread that in and everything and just do a couple little stitches and you won't even notice. But again, I'm on day 10. So what do you think? What do you think of the color work? I'm loving it. I really am. I think, and I like the, the hearts and stuff. Have you gone ahead and looked? Did you? I'm on day 10. Okay, on, on mine, right? I'm on day 10. It's the 13th. Have you gone ahead? I haven't. So tomorrow, I will be doing 11 and 12. That's what I'll be working on tomorrow. So come back and we will both see how 11 and 12 is. I think at this point, it is smooth sailing. Oh, did you notice? Wait, did you notice? Did you notice red? You know what that means? I'm going to be doing another section. So I'm probably going to do red and white. I, I don't think they're going to do red and green together. I mean, they could, but I think it's probably going to be red and white. So I'm on to another section right here. And I like that how, you know, you've got here and you've got the, the red and the green. And then here you did the same to, to, to delimitate those two. And you did that back and forth. And this one you didn't. Um, oh, you know what? I bet my next row, I don't know it yet, but I bet the next row is probably going to be just like this one with one red, one white, one red, and then go into whatever the color work is going to be. Because you notice each one is like that. This one has the, the two colors of the red and green and then a solid green. And then up here, it's got the one each, one each, and then a solid. And this one has the solid. So I'm guessing the symmetrical part of me says that it'll be that way. But I'll see you tomorrow. So tune in again tomorrow to see if my guess is correct. Or go ahead and look yourself because it's out there. I just don't know it yet. <laughs> so come back tomorrow so we can see how it is all put together. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.